Boys, I believe we have a grappling match coming up next between Mr. Sean O'Leary and Kieran Nolan. This fight is brought to you by the Turner's Cross Tavern. Located at Turner's Cross, we bring you a friendly and casual bar full of crack. Our open plan local is the perfect spot for you to watch the match, listen to a great local performer, or catch up with the girls for cocktails and Prosecco. For more information, visit www.turnerscrosstavern.ie My name is Sean O'Leary and I'm 52 years of age. Because I'm not doing the MMA fight like everybody else do because I'm a leg amputee, I will be doing um, a boxing round and jiu-jitsu round. But what you will definitely get from me is 100% commitment, 100% effort. I will leave everything on the mats on the night. And when you, when you get through those things, whether it be difficult, or whatever, whatever way it may feel towards you, when you come, overcome them and achieve them, then you're a warrior. I'd like to dedicate it to three people. First of all, my late wife, who helped me and pushed me to achieve what I'm doing now today. And to my two boys, Sean and Kyle. Hi, my name is Kieran Nolan. I'm 61 and I'm construction engineering. My motivation was that I was working away for several years and um, I got very out of shape. I hadn't been fit or in shape for a long time, so when I saw the after Wimp to Warrior, I thought this was possibly the thing for me. Again, I was nervous I wouldn't be able for it, but um, I'm so glad I did it. What I didn't expect was to be part of such a, a, big, a great big family here rather than just a club or, or, or a programme. I would like to dedicate this to my family and all my children and I'd like to just, just, just to show that if you put your mind to something you can achieve absolutely anything that you want. Mr. Daraduff is a jiu-jitsu maestro himself. Yeah. So here we go. Sean actually prefers to start from, from a ground up position. He's so strong, man. Both of these guys I said it earlier when Sandesh was fighting Kieran. Both of these guys get a hold of you and you think you're, you, you've been just locked into a vice. Now Sean using, utilizing a frame here from the bottom position. Now the advantage of not having to, to worry about that right leg getting inside is that he can swing it around angles that, that other people can't. Yeah. You, you'll almost see him using, you see how he's using his, his right knee as an extra hand? Yeah, yeah. He's able to hook Almost it in. like a hook, yeah. Now, at the moment, it's it's Kieran in half guard top, with Sean with a very, very strong right hand frame here. Kieran looks like he's trying to isolate an arm. Switching from arm to arm here. He's past the guard here now at this stage. Now Sean needs to get to the right hand as an underhook. He's attempting an, an Americana from bottom. It's not quite there. Now he has this technique that he uses from this. He can swing his right leg over the top of the head. Again, because he doesn't have so much real estate to, to worry about getting around the corner, he can get into gaps that other people can't. Utilizing his frames very, very well here, uh, Sean. Even though Kieran's on top, he's not able to apply a lot of heavy pressure onto Sean. Because Sean has his forearms in a very structurally strong position. Sean going for the overhook on the right hand. He's coming up for the guillotine. Advice coming from the corner from Ethan Gearn from SBG Killarney. Both Sean and Ethan have hit it off very well over the last few months. Step, Step over, over to Mount from Kieran. He's still looking to isolate an arm here. Like what, from this position, Liam, what should he be looking for from what you've done in the classes? For, for Kieran? Yeah, Kieran is going to be looking for uh, an Americana from this position. Sean looking to get onto one side and push off a hip. Yeah. Right 
Now this is where there's a, there's a distinct disadvantage is in the bridge. Yeah. He really could do with his right leg to be able to push into the floor to elevate his hips. So the bridge escape is not a good option for Sean here. Turning onto one side, now, now he's got his half guard back. Kieran spotted it and, and countered. Almost had him swept. He has the sweep. Up he gets. Nice. Now can he stay on top this time? Oh, straight back onto the bottom. It's so tough when you when you don't have that second leg to push from. It's so tough to get to, to get to cut the corner there. Although Sean is generally pretty good from that position. He's using the jaws of life here to try and get back to an underhook. Kieran being told to back step over to the right to pass the guard on that side. Sean countering by having his left hook, his left foot <laughs> heavy on Kieran's calf. He's using actually, he's going almost like a butterfly to try and get some space. Kieran's passed the guard here. Just 10 seconds to go. Look for Kieran to step to the mount here. Finish in a strong position. Oh. Tough battle for Sean there. Yeah. A draw at the end of the day. I think, to be fair, We've got three legends in this division, Sandesh, Sean, and Kieran. All three of them getting a win tonight in their, in their respective matches. And a great showing after six months of training and no doubt lifetime friendships forged in battle. Turner's Cross Tavern. Located at Turner's Cross, we bring you a friendly and casual bar full of crack. Our open plan local is the perfect spot for you to watch the match, listen to a great local performer, or to catch up with the girls for cocktails and Prosecco. So for the christening, engagement party, birthday celebrations, look no further than Turnus Cross Tavern. For more information, visit www.turnuscrosstavern.ie.